Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, travel and weather in the Philippines. Uh, some of you in the U.S. and around the world uh, have snow issues this time of the year, but uh, here it is November 19th uh, in the Philippines. And we have a tropical depression called Samuel that has entered our this little box here. This is the uh, Philippines area of responsibility to track and uh, once a storm comes across here and enters into our area we change the name out here it has one name uh, Philippines always changes the name and uh, where a lot of these tropical depressions turn into typhoons and uh, head north up here uh, we've had a couple come through the central Visayas uh, area and this one is coming through. It's going to uh, make landfall uh, either Tuesday night or which is tomorrow night or Wednesday morning very early and uh, this site is Pagasa, Philippine uh, government owned site that looks at the weather here and we'll just kind of key in here and uh, this is Luzon up here, Manila, and Mindanao down to the south, the Big Island, and Central Visayas in, in this area here. And this depression is coming right through. It's going to hit uh, the northern end of uh, Mindanao and come through the central, the eastern Visayas and the central Visayas here. I just stepped outside on my balcony, and it is uh, sprinkling already. It's been cloudy most of the day. And let's zoom in here a little bit, and you can see we're getting a lot of the effects of of this. I believe this is actually the tropical depression off here, and um, this is somehow associated with that, I presume. But the actual tropical, the low pressure area uh, is expected to hit here. This tropical depression is causing uh, travel issues, as you might expect. The, r the seas get rougher. A lot of travel is by ferry in the Philippines. And uh, this island here, Leyte, uh, many of the ferries have been uh, stopped from, from sailing out of those ports. And there are other ships, uh, cargo ships, passenger ferries, that are seeking safe harbors, protected harbors, in a lot of these areas. So then, of course, you also have passengers. So then you have uh, passengers, obviously, stuck in those uh, terminals. I have not heard of any airlines uh, canceled yet, but I suspect uh, that will take place in, in the coming day or two. Uh, Bohol, uh, the island right under here, right next to Cebu, uh, the ferries there have been stopped from going out. There again, others that uh, weren't going to stop there are going in looking for safe harbor as well. Schools in Mandawi already have been uh, closed tomorrow. No schools in all of the public schools there. No classes. And it's up to the private schools to determine if they're going to have classes or not. This is not a typhoon yet. It doesn't have uh, that kind of winds. It has, I think, 55 uh, kilometer winds presently gusts up to 65 kilometers per hour. We have uh, the U.S. holiday of Thanksgiving coming up on uh, Thursday, uh, November 22nd, and uh, I suspect most of this will be gone by then. We'll just have to wait it out and see if it's going to be a very rainy day or not. This is a site I like to use uh, for weather, uh, windy.com, and uh, it is, uh, if you go over here to the right, they have a, have a very extensive uh, list of things, levels, layers that you can put on this map. I have uh, the wind and the pressure listed right now, uh, but you can get everything from uh, waves to rain, uh, lightning, uh, thunder, temperature, all sorts of different things here. And uh, what we see is the low pressure area is right here, swirling around and headed this direction. There's a slider down to the bottom of this uh, site, and you can't see it uh, on, on what I'm recording. Uh, but I can slide that forward in time, too, to see what they project out 
Uh, so we'll go to, uh, now there is Tuesday at uh, about 8 p.m. Shows shows it right over the central Visayas. All right, I've zoomed in there a little bit so you can see what's happening here. Here you have the uh, the tropical depression, what is called low pressure area, and uh, so it's going to hit this area. These these whole areas here, uh, Surigao del Norte and del Sur, are under a watch, as is uh, Southern Leyte up here. So this whole area through here, and uh, Ships are coming in and looking for ports here to hide out, camp out in until this thing is over. Uh, here's Bohol Island uh, as well, Panglao Island down here, Cebu City up here. And what I've said in other uh, videos is that one nice thing about Cebu Island is we're protected. A lot of these storms lose a lot of their power as they hit these outer islands, uh, even the typhoons. In 2013, there was a powerful one, Yolanda. Uh, that came through here, did a lot of damage on Bahol, in Leyte here, uh, even up in Tacloban up here in Samar, and uh, did a lot of damage in the uh, northern third of Subu Island. But uh, in general, if the typhoons come through this area, uh, they lose a lot of their power as they hit, hit these islands, outer islands. So Cebu is a, a benefit to where it is located there. Now I've zoomed out a bit, and as long as I'm talking about weather, it looks like we might have another low pressure system uh, setting up out here. And uh, don't know where that's going to go, but over time we can track that if it's coming right through here again, or if it, whether it's going to move north like many of them do, if it's going to turn into a, a bigger storm over time. Uh, when you're traveling and flying in, um, many people like like uh, use Japanese airlines or Korean airlines. Uh, my last trip to the U.S. I used Korean Air. It was the winter time. It was uh, February, and I flew uh, uh, from Cebu. I flew up to Korea, up to Seoul, Korea, up here, or over here. Pardon me. And uh, had a layover there, and then flew to Los Angeles there. Uh, now, a couple weeks before I flew up there, they had a snowstorm there. And the, the airport was shut down for like two days or so. People were camped out at the airport. Uh, so you take those kind of risks when you make decisions on, on what airline to fly with. As, as you get into the, the Korea up here or Japan, you can, you can run into uh, the typhoons that can cause delays uh, or, or snowstorms in the wintertime. Keep those things in mind as you travel. If you do get delayed, uh, try not to get too stressed out. Just make the best of the situation and uh, spend the time catching up on some reading or uh, rest or whatever you can. Uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and we'll see you next time.